eight players, six card game expansions, and one massive online esports event to remember. Blizzard Entertainment is welcoming everyone to the 2020 Hearthstone World Championship, the biggest tournament of its kind on the esports calendar. Traditionally played at BlizzCon, the Hearthstone World Finals pits the most elite players in the world against each other over a weekend of exciting card slinging action. For obvious reasons, BlizzCon and its respective global final tournaments were moved online, but still promise to give fans and followers an incredible pro gaming experience that the players deserve. A whopping half a million American dollars is on the line, and each of the eight qualifying players from the Chinese, Asia Pacific, European, and American divisions will do anything to overthrow the other and claim the Grandmaster's crown. Hailing from Japan, season one victor for the Asia Pacific region glory turned heads early as the Grandmaster competitions started to move online due to the pandemic. In early June, glory landed his ticket to the end of year finals after defeating 2017 summer champion Surrender in a narrow game five tiebreaker. He's praying, maybe Glory was bluffing, maybe he doesn't have it, but we can see from the relief on Glory's face that he has done it, Gia. At the final moment, one damage off lethal on the previous turn, but now Surrender does fall down. And Glory... Fast forward four months in the same Hearthstone region, where Thailand's very own Bank Yugi experienced his own tiebreaker pressure as he took on 2017 world champion Tom60229 in the season two grand finals. The mage v mage matchup had Tom at low health in the dying turns of the game, while Bank Yugi remained at a full 30. An 11 damage pyroblast may have been a little overkill, but it was certainly the card Bank Yugi needed to put an end to Tom rightfully earning a seat at the World Championship table as the Asia Pacific Season 2 victor. Over to the EMEA region where Team Spirit's silver name put an end to a Hearthstone celebrity in order to claim the Season 1 title for the region. Taking out 2018 Summer Champion Bunny Hopper in three straight matches, silver name could barely remain in his chair as his opponent conceded on turn eight in the third and final game of the online tournament. Oh, the Mana Saber g gives him Alex, right? Mm -hmm. Is that why? It gives him, uh, well, uh, uh, okay. Gives him both Alexes. I was meaning the, uh, the, the regular Alex, so he can self-heal even if there's tons of big bursts coming his way. Sure. I mean, if you want to be ludicrously pessimistic, it. but it doesn't matter now very little. The second Hearthstone Grandmaster to be crowned in the region was Czech Republic's Yarla, defeating Hearthstone royalty Tice in a glorious three games to one performance. Defeating a player as prestigious as Tice is no small feat, but Yarla managed to do so in the final game with his quest ruin, playing a marathon 22 minute game until Tice had nothing left in his deck. The combined Hearthstone talent pool that is North, Central, and South America saw 2019 World Champion finalist Bloody Face rise once more to take another shot at a global finals title. His opponent in the Season 1 final would be Canada's Eddie, leading player for the online events Group A. Bloody Face finished off the tournament with his Quest Warlock, a very powerful and punishing deck at the time. The signature Maligos Netherbreath put the finishing touches on the tournament for Bloodyface, earning him a spot among the best as a North American Hearthstone Grandmaster. Uh, that's, I mean, that helps him rush in, right? He's going to be able to kill it off. It does a little bit of damage, and Maligos at least can't kill him because of freezing trap. And that's going but to do it. Bloodyface tosses is. out the well played. We have a back to back. Regional champion, Bloody Face, one more time. Canada did have its day in the form of Hearthstone hopeful Monsanto in the second North American season for 2020. Locked in a game five tiebreaker, his opponent ETC could not find an answer to Monsanto's 12-12 Deathwing, 
No spell or minion could offer him a solution, so he did what any good rogue player would do and sealed his own fate. Not enough. One Thief has to find Ray of Frost here. Or Brain Freeze. Or Brain Freeze. Nope. No, that's going to do it. The Cinderella story has ended. Well, the carriage has turned into a pumpkin. China's season one and two victors, Syph and Zhao Ti, made up the final eight. And with a brand new expansion, a shift in the meta, and a king's ransom on the line, the world will be watching to see who claims the 2020 World Championship title. Mark your calendars for December 13th, and don't miss a minute of the action on the Hearthstone Esports YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with the amazing esport content from around the gaming globe. Only on Unbeaten Esports.